Hello and welcome. Today we discuss about fuses and circuit breakers. My name is Clive Ndemo, a physics teacher. Fuses and circuit breakers are both safety devices in electrical circuits. If you look at the picture shown on your screen, the first picture shows a fuse. That picture written 13A is a picture of a fuse. The second one is what is called a circuit breaker. So in our discussion today, we're going to look into deeper details on how both uh, gadgets or devices work. First, we'll start discussing about uh, a fuse. If you've ever seen uh, or looked keenly at uh, your three-pin plug, I think you've ever seen this gadget here, this one or this other one here. This one region 3A and this one region 13A. Those are the gadgets we call fuses and that's how they fit inside the three-pin plug. So this is the end that's normally connected to the socket on the wall while the other end you could be having a, an electrical appliance which could be a TV, a radio or even a fridge. So on this other end you see this are three pin plug which has not been opened. Uh, so you can see the what's written here fuse. So if I were to remove this red covering here then I could be able to expose the fuse. So we're going to see uh, at what point are we supposed to remove that red covering. But for now let us define what a fuse is. A fuse is a device used to safeguard against excess current. So from the definition, it's simply a safety device as we have already said, and it safeguards against excess current. They are made of a short thin wire uh, that has a low melting point. If you look at this picture here, I try to look for a picture of a fuse which is uh, transparent. We can be able to see the inside because if you see at the first and the second picture, you cannot be able to see the inside. So inside there you can see a thin wire. That's what uh, we call the alloy of copper and tin and it has a very low melting point. So another thing you need to understand is uh, you can see this fuse is written 13 amperes and this is written 3 amperes. Those figures are what we call the fuse rating. So, after we know the fuse rating, then we are going to understand and see how uh, a fuse uh, works. So when current exceeds the fuse rating, the fuse wire gets hot and melts. So, going back a bit, uh, if the current were to exceed 13 amperes, uh, then this wire which is inside the fuse is going to melt and it's going to break the circuit because remember that the current comes in from this point then goes through the fuse then to the brown wire you are seeing there so first of all when current comes in it has to get in through this uh, pin here which is written L that's a live where the live wire is connected so it comes in from here goes through the fuse and then to the brown wire which is the live wire so if that wire which is connecting from this point to that point breaks then it means the current cannot move from this point to the other point so that's how it acts as a safety device current becomes excess the wire melts then if the wire melts, the circuit is broken. So no more current will continue flowing to the appliance which is connected to the other end of this three-pin plug. So uh, if you look at this picture again, this is the fuse when it's uh, working and this is the same, same fuse when it's blown up. So for this fuse, uh, this is the current that exceeded the fuse rating and the wire melted. It gets hot and it melts, hence disconnecting the circuit. And the reason why it has to melt is to safeguard against uh, the, the damage of the appliances or reduce the risk of fire. So that's how the fuse works. The common fuse ratings we have are 2 amperes, 5 amperes, 
10 and 13. Next, we talk about circuit breakers. Circuit breakers are preferred to fuses in modern circuits. So in our discussion today, you're going to see how a circuit breaker works. If you look at this diagram here, you can be able to see a, a circuit diagram of a circuit breaker. So in this case, current comes in, goes through these two contacts, uh, which are called switch contacts, and goes through this coil of wire, which goes around this soft iron uh, core, then comes out at this point down here. So when current flows through this coil of wire, it becomes an electromagnet. Uh, remember, we did discuss this under the topic applications of electromagnets. And in this case now, this uh, current makes the soft iron core to be an electromagnet. If, for example, the current becomes excess, this electromagnet is going to become stronger. And in this case, it's going to attract this iron rocker or the soft iron armature towards the soft iron core. So in this case, what is going to happen is uh, this contact here is going to break. And once the contact breaks, then current stops flowing. So in this case now, it means that as long as the current is excess, then these contacts here uh, will be separated. So what happens is uh, when current goes back to its normal rating, for example, this could be a gadget working at 13 amperes. And now the current has exceeded and has gone to around 14 amperes and it has made this electromagnet to be stronger. This soft iron rocker is going to be attracted the soft iron core, breaking the contacts. So when the contacts are broken, current stops flowing. This soft iron rocker is going to be released and it's going to go back into contacts again. And if the current is still high, the same process is going to happen where this soft iron rocker is going to be attracted back. So that process is going to go on until that point when the current now goes down to the normal current. In our case, we are talking about an appliance working at 13 amperes. When the current goes down to the 13 amperes, then this contacts are going to uh, be remade and the current is going to continue flowing as normal. So as opposed to the fuse, you see this one uh, breaks the circuit instantly, whereas the wire fuse has to take some time to melt. So from there, we can be able to look at the advantages uh, of uh, a circuit breaker over a fuse. From the discussions we've had, what are the advantages of circuit breakers over fuses? Number one, a circuit breaker breaks the circuit instantly, whereas a wire fuse takes time to melt. Number two, a circuit breaker resets itself automatically when the current normalizes or goes back to normal, while a wire fuse has to be replaced with a new uh, fuse when it blows up. That's the end of our discussion. And in case you need to ask any question or any suggestion, go down to the comments and please leave a comment uh, for me. Finally, remember to subscribe so that you can be notified on new videos and more coming uh, your way. Thank you.